index, second base, best DFS hitter. Yeah, so I know I mentioned the rain delay thing, so you got to keep tabs on this one because I do like Ronald Acuna uh, the most in this one tonight, 6.1K. with Against Wheeler, he's done well against him throughout his career with 28 career at-bats, three home runs, two doubles. Uh, this month, Acuna has three doubles and a home run against right-handed pitching uh, with a 57.1% hard contact rate and a sub-10% soft contact rate. Acuna hasn't hit a home run either since, what, May 7th? So at some point, that's got to happen. He's got a couple doubles over his last three games. So I love him in this spot. But again, got to keep tabs on the weather there. Uh, if that game ends up getting bumped, then Pete Alonso becomes my favorite guy at 5.3K. Um, obviously, had a good series against San Francisco in late April. Um, and he's got, what, six doubles and four home runs this month. And only two of those extra base hits have come against left-handed pitching. And he's got a, like a 45.7% hard contact rate against righties. So Acuna is my favorite guy. But if they've gone into a rain delay, make some room for Alonzo in your lineup. Eric, who are you confident in tonight for swinging good wood? Yeah, I like a guy who's tied with Acuna in points per game and doesn't have to face Zach Wheeler. He gets to face Adrian Hauser instead, and that's Manny Machado. Just 4,900. He's tied for 38th most expensive hitter. And again, tied with Acuna for third in points per game. Ranks third in the league in WRC Plus as well. Suddenly, he's a true power speed threat this year, which I don't know how long the speed component of that will last, but Kyle Tucker is the only other guy with at least seven homers and seven steals this season. Machado's doing that while leading the league with a 374 average, and he's that's inflated by a 424 batting average on balls in play, uh, but his expected batting average of 311 is still excellent. He's having one of his best seasons, and again, facing Adrian Hauser, who has a decent ERA, but isn't anything to be scared of he's a ground ball type guy who doesn't miss a lot of bats so i like machado a lot for sub 5000 here